Greetings, Internet, and welcome once again to Insane Ian Has Opinions About Beverages or Something. Yeah! So this week, I got sent a couple different weird sodas to taste test by uh, a friend of mine and a Patreon supporter named Jason. Thank you very much, Jason. He sent me a bunch of really cool sodas. Sent me Moxie, the original elixir from 1884. I don't know what that means. It says it's distinctively different. Now, he sent me two of these, two bottles from Amazon. Unfortunately, one of the bottles was wrapped up and the wrapping was very wet. Somehow, the bottle leaked in the packaging, but the cap's still on. I'm guessing it got shook up, it sprayed, and uh, it was all over the inside of the box, it was all wet. But thankfully, one of the two survived. This one I still have, but it's mostly empty. I may drink the rest of this after I finish off the other Moxie. Depends on if I like the flavor. But other than Moxie, he also had sent me uh, Doc Brown's Naturally Flavored Celery Celery Soda. Oh my. That's right, Doc Brown. He stopped being a scientist and inventor and decided to poison you. And I also found one of the Sprecher Diamond beverages. A couple videos ago I did the lychee. Now I've got a blackberry, because let's also try that. A couple of weird soda flavors here. Um, I don't know if Moxie's actually particularly weird. It's just one I'm not familiar with because it's never been sent to me. Well, I've never tried it. It's not been usually available where I am. But, I, you know, it's it's been around for a while and people seem to like it. So we're gonna try some Moxie. Let's see, carbonated water, pure cane sugar, natural and artificial flavors, caramel color, sodium benzoate, a preservative. Genetian root extractives? Phosphoric acid, caffeine, and citric acid. Produced under the authority of Cornucopia Beverage Company, Bedford, New Hampshire. Everything sounds important when you say it like that. Bottled by Orca Beverage, Inc. Malkilito, Washington. OrcaBeverage.com. And I like the guy pointing at you. You got moxie, kid! Which is... Yes. Yes, I do. Now, last time I had one of these videos with bottles, I didn't realize they were twist off. This time I did. That is a really strong caramel coloring scent. Definitely got a kind of a stronger cola smell to it. It's kind of a strong one, actually. It's very medicine-y smelling. It's very medicinal in its scent. I use big words. Weird. Yeah, man, wow. It's a, it's a strong smell. I wish you, YouTube, could smell it, but we don't have that feature yet. Thank God. Let's try this. That is sickeningly sweet. That is a sweet cola beverage. There's this weird little afterkick too. Like it tastes kind of sweet, kind of good, kind of very much like a cola. And then there's this kind of bitter, kind of not really a burning, but a very bitter aftertaste afterwards. You're like, I'm enjoying this. No, you're not, punch. Oh, why? Why is that happening? That's what you get for having Moxie, a punch in the taste buds of bitterness. Oh, it's not a bad flavor. It's just the aftertaste that kind of kicks you in the head. Not great, not terrible, but now I've had Moxie. Palette is cleansed, and now Sprecher Diamond Blackberry. Let's try this. What's the uh, sugar, sucrose, carbonated water, natural flavor, raw Wisconsin honey. I love that. So, all right, Sprecher, your clear diamond sodas. Ow. Just getting a carbonated beverage with not really any strong fruit scent. Getting a mild fruit scent though. On the second sniff, I got a hint of berry. That'll go on my tombstone, probably. All right, sure, blackberry. Here we go. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's pretty good. It's not really a strong flavor. Uh, it's it's decent. You can definitely get the hint of blackberry in the flavoring. But it's not overpowering. It's not too strong. It's enjoyable. That's that. That one's actually pretty good. I would definitely prefer this one over the lychee, which was too much of a citrus. Kind of hit me too hard. Didn't quite like that one. This one. This one's not bad. This one I would probably have again. I probably won't go out and buy it. But you know, if it's sat in front of me, I'll probably drink it. That one's pretty good. 
And finally, go along with the shirt I'm wearing, Doc Brown's Celery. Celery flavored soda. I thought you liked me, Jason. I did, but we're trying it anyway. You sent me a six pack of it. And I feel if I don't like this, I'm going to have five more cans of something I will never drink. So I'm hoping I like it. And if not, I'm apologizing now. Just to cover them bases. Doc Brown's Natural Celery. Celery flavored beverage. Celery soda with other natural flavors. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, citric acid, extract of celery seed with other natural flavors. Uh, preservative, caramel color, partially produced with genetic engineering. Wait, you mean you can't get celery soda naturally? Sure. Oh, <laughs> caffeine free! Oh, thank God! They've drained the caffeine from the celery, because you know that's a thing. Not really getting a celery hit off of that. Kind of smells like Mountain Dew, but caffeine free apparently. It's not bad. Let's take a look since it's in a can. It's not bad. That is a solid fizz on there. Prolonged. Kind of, not clear, but not, you know, discolored. Kind of yellowish. Murky. Getting a very, very, very mild hint of celery on the scent. I'm hoping it's a mild hint of celery on the flavor. Let's find out, shall we? Okay. I think the best way to describe that is it's a ginger ale that's gone flat. You don't get the hit of ginger, like from a ginger ale, obviously, because it's not. But it, it doesn't have the spice to it, but it's like if ginger ale had the ginger removed. There's definitely a vegetable taste to it, definitely a celery style to the flavoring, but it's not overpowering, thankfully. It's not something that you're hit in the face with, as opposed to moxie. It's not bad. It's not something I would have tried had I not had this show, but it's definitely unique. It's an, it's an interesting flavor. It's a little sweet, but it's a, it's a carbonated beverage. It, yeah, it really does taste like flat ginger ale. There's not an excess of carbonation in it, and there's not an excess of flavor in it. And there's not an overabundance of the celery flavor, which I'm kind of thankful for. Flat ginger ale, that's what I'll call that. Well, that's it for this week on uh, Insane Ian Taste Tests. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks again to Jason for sending me the, uh, the two beverages. If you like what you saw here this week, please consider subscribing. If you would like to see any of the uh, previous taste test videos I've done, they're located right here. And please consider supporting me on Patreon so I can continue to bring you more videos like this, as well as Patreon exclusive videos like making of, commentary, and things like that. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time. <coughs> oh. Carbonation.